Hey teachers, this is Brenda Kovich. I enjoy teaching with Google Sites and you can too. Today you'll be learning to add pages to a Google Site. Make sure you visit the blog post listed beneath this screen. It will give you the lowdown on 20 ways to revolutionize teaching with Google Sites. Later in the presentation, I'll show you how to add a secret page, so make sure you stick around till the end. Let's get started. Now last time we created a site answering questions for, and here it is with the blue icon. I didn't have to save it or publish it. It automatically saved into my folder. Now I want to work on it some more, so I just double click on it and it opens up. Now, in order to add pages, we go over here to this set of menus, and these three words right here really dictate almost everything that you'll be doing with your site. So here you have your insert menu, and over here you have your themes, which we'll talk about later, but today we're going to be working with pages. In order to add a page, we just move down here to this plus sign. Now, when I hover over it, you'll notice that several things appear. First, this button morphs a little bit into an add page icon and you see the words new page next to it. Above it, a circle with a, a link opens and that's to add a new link. Now this is a special feature. What happens is you can add new pages to appear in your navigation bar for your website or you can add a new link. Now the new link will look just like a page in your website, but instead it could take your visitor somewhere else. So you have two options, new page or new link. Let's try new page. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to make a new page called introduction. I just type it there and hit done. And it's as easy as that. Now, you can change your page title. It doesn't have to stay the same as this. And then I did want to mention that there are several options here under these three dots. You can duplicate a page, which is really handy. You can change its properties. And one of the things that I've found that's helpful there is changing the name of the page. You can add a subpage. You can hide it from navigation, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, or you can delete. Let's go ahead and add a subpage, but I'm not going to do it this way. I want to show you how, how this works. So if I add another page, and I'm just going to call this um, PowerPoint presentations, and we'll create that. Now you notice that it appears below the page introduction. But what if I wanted it to be a subpage, or what if I wanted to reverse the orders? This is very easy with Google Sites. All you have to do is click and drag. So I could drag this there, and now PowerPoint Presentations appears before introduction on my, um, up here you can see it in my navigation. So let's try that again. I can change the order, see how that is. Or if I, drag PowerPoint presentations over introduction, it becomes a sub page to introductions and it doesn't show here on my navigation unless I click to see it. Okay, that's it. Before I show you how to add a secret page, I'd like to remind you to like, share, and comment on this video. That way more educators can learn to use Google Sites in their classroom. Today's tip is how to add a secret page. This is a handy way to offer content to only a few students, friends, or teachers. It's very easy. All you do, so let's say if this page right here were to be secret, all I would have to do is click on the three dots and hide from navigation. You'll notice that it's disappeared, so people cannot see it in the navigation at all. And over here, you'll see that it's got a, craw, a slash through it showing that this is now a secret page. However, you can, once this site is published, you can grab its URL and share it with whoever you want. That's it for this time. Have a great day and stop back again to learn more about Google Sites in the classroom.